A Mott in a Rut is a pretty fun cartoon. This is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1959. It's directed by Robert McKimson and written by Ted Pierce. And we have Arthur Q. Bryan as Albert Fudd and Mel Blanc as his dog Rover. And I'm realising that when it comes to Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck cartoons, I'm never on Elmer's team. But when it comes to cartoons where Elmer Fudd is the protagonist or at least one of the main characters um, rather, than the, rather than the antagonist, I actually really like him as a character and that's absolutely the case here. He goes out one day and his dog stays at home and watches TV and something on the television convinces Rover that his master, Elmer Fudd, is out to get him. And when Elmer Fudd comes home, Rover's behaviour and attitudes change and it seems like Elmer Fudd is the one who's going to become hurt or injured because Rover wants to get to him before he thinks that Elmer Fudd will hurt him and it's uh it's, it's quite interesting because I had no idea where they were going to take it or you know what how, to what extreme they would go to and I think it worked quite well as a narrative it wasn't set just in the home either we had a good mix of backdrops and locations so different things to interact with and that helped to ensure it wasn't predictable as well so I really enjoyed it it's a, a an interesting concept that's quite well executed it's a fun narrative I really liked Elmer Fudd but I also liked the dog I thought the dog was pretty cute. I rather enjoyed him in this, which is not always the case with dogs in Warner Brothers cartoons. Sometimes, sometimes I don't love them, but the mutt in the rut is one that I liked. And as for the cartoon, a mutt in a rut is one that I definitely recommend. I don't know if I'd watch it again, at least not in a hurry. It's never going to be an all time favorite, but I thought it was interesting, not that predictable and one that I found to be pretty engaging.